find it a lot easier to find an ophthalmologist. Uh, and that's who should really start off the evaluation because you don't know whether it's neurological until you see somebody who's able to differentiate an eye problem from a neuro-ophthalmological problem. Most important is taking a good history and finding out from the patient the sequence of events that led them to seek medical attention. Um, and then you just have to check vision and color vision, how well the pupils react to light, how much vision they see on the sides and down the barrel, down the center, and that the eye has to be dilated and the optic nerve has to be inspected carefully. Uh, if a patient is articulate enough and observant enough to give a good history, you can basically diagnose it just by taking the history before you even put a hand on the patient. But usually you combine the history with an examination of the optic nerve which involves checking vision, uh, color vision, the pupils, the visual field, and looking at the back of the eye through a dilated pupil. Uh, usually you take the first session to make a diagnosis based on the history and the exam um, and you use the second session to use tests that help differentiate optic neuritis from other causes of visual loss in one or both eyes. So in the beginning when the anxiety is usually a little higher uh, you tend to see people more often but once they've been treated and settled and hopefully return to normal. They don't have to see a doctor any more often than someone who never had optic neuritis. Depends upon how obvious the diagnosis is. Sometimes it's really elusive and <clears throat> it's not as easy to diagnose as when it's very obvious. But once the diagnosis of optic neuritis is made, you want to try to treat it as soon as possible before the optic nerve has irreversible damage. So time is of the essence in order to try to retrieve vision as much as possible. Once you're diagnosed, you'll probably see the doctor a few times just to be certain that you're getting better and not getting worse just to help secure the diagnosis and once you're done with therapy and there's no more that can be done to treat the acute symptoms then you can resume seeing them as often as you would if you didn't have optic neuritis. <laughs>